Well guys, it's been a while. I uh, haven't put out a video since April. It doesn't feel like it's been four months, but it's been going on five months here. Uh, I'm in the process of moving currently, but I wanted to put out a video anyway, because even though I don't have my mic right now, I feel like anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly. So I'd rather put out a video with bad audio than no videos at all. So here we are. Now back in 1969, the National Environmental Policy Act was passed to encourage harmony between man and nature. And ever since we've been trying to save the planet, let me tell you something, we can't do anything to the planet really. Uh, the largest man-made explosion ever was produced by a Soviet hydrogen bomb called the Tsar Bomba. And the blast radius was 22 miles, which sounds pretty big. So you realize that the Earth's surface area is 196.9 million square miles. So if that blast was an inch, the Earth would be about 141 miles. So we're not even close to fucking with that. Right, so we can't blow up the planet, obviously. Uh, so what if we wanted to smoke it out? You know, every year we emit about 50 billion tons of greenhouse gas, which according to NASA scientists has raised the global temperature by about one degree since 1880. One degree. Now, I want you to think back. Think back to the jungles, the prime, the, the forests from 65 million years ago uh, during the Cretaceous period. The average temperature of the planet was one of the warmest it's ever been. The North and South Poles had no ice and ocean surface temperatures were up to 17 degrees warmer than they are now. And the planet was fine. The dinosaurs were there, you know, life was thriving, they had big ass sharks and shit. Uh, but all that came to an end when an asteroid hit the coast of Mexico. Now, if you think we're doing something bad, listen to what this asteroid did. The impact created a tsunami that sent waves up to one and a half kilometers tall to coastlines across the globe. A cloud of hot dust and ash and steam was ejected from the impact site, and this material would fly out of the atmosphere, gain heat during re-entry, and broil the Earth's atmosphere, causing wildfires. Shock waves would cause global earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, and dust covered the entire globe for years, if not a decade, and interrupted photosynthesis. And 75% of all plant and animal species on the planet went extinct. Suddenly, plastic straws don't seem too bad. But even after all that, life came back from the brink and Earth made its way back to being a nice spinning blue ball out in space, hosting all sorts of life forms, including one that spread across the globe. Uh, this life form poses a threat to a lot of other ones, but even if it does its worst, couldn't really harm life or the planet in general. Sure, it could be harmful to species living on the planet right now, like rhinos and elephants and orangutans. But these things would go extinct anyway, like, you think if we were living back in the dinosaur period, we'd be trying to save the dinosaurs and other things would exist in the first place. 99% of all species that have ever existed have gone extinct, but life will always find a way. Right, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I know it's a bit of a short one, but I just wanted to make it to practice my editing skills. Uh, even though we aren't a threat to the planet or life or anything, we are fucking over future generations of people. So we should probably try and keep the planet livable for them if for nothing else. Uh, it'll bounce back, but we won't be around after the thousands or millions of years of smog covered wasteland. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a thumbs up and uh, leave any future video suggestions down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.